Hello everyone, my name is Juan Fernando. Um, in this video, we'll explain uh, the illusion of the kitchen table, better known as how to appear and disappear. Um, you know, um, the, uh, I will explain not just that technique I was using, because uh, what I was thinking and, and going into through all that process of um, how to create and become with your own illusion, so you can come up with your own ideas. Um, you know, um, I was trying to work with people um, subconscious, beyond the conscious, is really important. Because um, I was trying to answer the people's questions before I, they even asked the questions, uh, people's issues, concerns, and, um, and how you can disprove a specific technique you're actually using. And this is how I, I, um, I was trying to go beyond those little concerns that people really don't think about, but uh, it, uh, it's part of the illusion. You know, there are some points that people brought to me and they really think I'm using uh, those techniques. And I'm gonna ask you which one do you think I'm actually using. So it's just gonna be five questions, just wondering which one do you think I'm using. Okay, point number one is um, they think um, I'm inside the sheets. I'm actually 6'5 and, um, and 225 pounds, so I don't think uh, it will be that easily for my wife to pick me up. <laughs> Point number two, uh, some people actually, they believe I'm using a mirror, which uh, as you can see, it was already inspected at the bottom of, of the table and neither a reflection. And point number three, some people, they believe I'm using a, a, another cardboard, another newspaper between legs. You neither see my feet, neither uh, the perspective of the camera movements, because if there is another uh, newspaper between legs, uh, the perspective movement should be different from the front of the back. Point number four, they believe I fall from the ceiling. This point was brought to me by a student. They, they watched this video in the high school. And um, one of them, they said, uh, I fall from the ceiling. As you can see, I, I already mentioned that it's just plaster, wood, and cardboard. Point number five, uh, some people believe uh, I'm behind the, the cardboard. Uh, even if there is not enough room for me to fit in the back, they believe I'm behind the cardboard. Okay, so those are the five points. So which one do you think I'm actually using? Well, and the answer is uh, number two. I'm actually using a mirror, but do you still can figure it out how it's done, even if you already know I'm using a mirror? As you can see over here, I have a 3D reference of the studio. Actually, that was my first studio in 2001 when I just came here to Chicago. I don't live there anymore, so I have to do a 3D reference. On the right side of the table, I have another cardboard, which is placed by my wife. While I was explaining the opposite side of the room, I made some marks with a pencil on top of the floor for a cardboard to be placed. And because the cardboard is not a one continued piece, it deceived more than if it was just a, a long plain continued cardboard. Another uh, optical illusion that I use is my hand. Uh, I was trying to reach as far as possible off the table uh, so this way will make it look a bit better. Another optical illusion is trying to move the camera to the front of the table as much as possible. I couldn't go further the front of the table because it was my closet by the side of the video camera, but it was good enough. The main point is trying to make people believe it's not enough room for me to fit between legs. In each and every table leg, I use strings of paper, so it helps to hide the edges of the mirror. 
there are many other mirror features that I will talk about later in other videos um, when time comes. But you might be wondering how I got under the table if I'm the one with a video camera. Um, I have a pre-recorded voice that was introduced after I said this. Comprado en quema. En especial. Then after that, um, I gave the video camera to my wife while I was getting into position and getting ready to appear. As you can see, um, she stands right on the side of the table just in case the table checks when I get off. Actually, another way to work with people subconscious is doing a trick with things that are not part of the illusion while well, making it believe by leaving things far away. For example, in this instance, how do you think uh, she appeared? As you can see in this performance, um, the table has anything to do with illusion, so therefore, um, well, most people will uh, not even consider the table as part of the performance. Most magicians use the table to disappear usually, uh, so therefore most people will assume that the table has something to do with it. But if you are far away from the table, then you are not giving reasons, you know, for people to believe that the table has anything to do with it. So in this way, most people will take longer to figure it out. Actually, this is a really old technique. Um, at the bottom of the table, there is a mirror uh, in 90 degree angle. So this way will reflect the front of the table, allowing the system to be high. Just be careful with the shadows because uh, many magicians are busting themselves. Um, that's why I use another lamp on the side of the table um, so it can match the shadows as much as possible. So there you have it everyone. Um, I hope you, you like this one. Um, there are so many more details and things that I will keep coming up with any questions or concerns from people. So just visit the website at artsonproductions.com for more details.